everyone. Welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic is on an opinion piece that was um, in the Washington Post. And if I remember, I will leave it in the description box, but you have to pay for a subscription. I don't recommend it. I mean, you can find other people doing opinion pieces on this and they have excerpts of what the article says. So the article was written by a woman by the name of Catherine Rampell. And when I see foolishness, I always have to look up to see what the person is about. But before I get into that, let me read what this woman wrote and then I will get into my opinion. Again, this is written by Catherine Rampell for the Washington Post. Move over, Ryan Gosling, which I don't think is that good looking, by the way. But let me start all over. I'm sorry. Move over, Ryan Gosling. The modern female fantasy is embodied by the man who might soon become our first, first gentleman. Imhoff appears to be a genuine minch. I think I pronounced that right. With an impressive career. He's smitten with his wife and supports her ambitions, as is obvious from his convention speech and their sweet interactions on the campaign trail. So I'm going to skip over a little bit. Imhoff is secure enough with his own masculinity to sometimes prioritize his wife's ambitions over his own, she wrote. Okay. I have been seeing of late, I would say for maybe the past two weeks, the Democrat Party all of a sudden talking about masculinity. And and I think, what a joke. <laughs> because isn't the Democrat Party the party of what is a woman? Aren't they the same people that say women can have penises? So I looked up this writer of this article and sure enough now mind you I think the article that I read about her and her husband is about 10 years old he's a male feminist so I, was, I said of course he is and she was saying in um, the article from 10 years ago she did not want to take she had a problem with being referred to as her husband's name you know, like Mr. and Mrs. John Smith. These feminists, Democrats, liberals, modern women, sisterhood, they have a problem with true masculine men, true masculinity. So they want to label Kamala Harris's husband as a hunk because he, because his wife is in a power, is in a, position of power. These people don't want men in their masculinity. A masculine man to them, a real man to them is a simp, beta, son, husband, a man that they can walk all over. And we're seeing that a lot with, this was a few years ago with um, Joy Reid, when she basically said, you know, black men stop listening to Kevin Samuels and the, what's his name? Tariq Nasheeds. Sorry if I mispronounced his name. They don't want men to have their own thought. They want man hating women to think for these men. I just thought that that was laughable that the Democrats I feel are trying to quote unquote, quote unquote, reach the, what they term toxic masculinity in the conservative party. And if you follow my channel, you know, I typically don't talk about politics. Um, I could steer you to people that I listen to for my politics information, the black, um, the black conservative, Philip Scott, even Dr. Umar, you know, um, but I just thought again, that that was laughable that these people who, who are blurring gender roles, who don't know what a real man is or a real woman is, 
They're trying to school people on what masculinity is. Y'all a joke. Sorry. That's my topic for today. Talk to you later.